friend John Oliver. John, we were talking before the break uh, that uh, you're on the green card and you hope that you get to stay here because you got a wife and a kid who are American and yeah, we, nice. all, we all like nice. you here. Yeah, you nice. know, but uh, yeah, please, the please. president is thin-skinned, uh, and sure. the chance that you got, might get the heave ho, the old uh, the bums rush, the 23s could do. Yeah. Now, uh, <laughs> that's a more charming way to deport someone. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Um, uh, if you were sent back. Uh, to England, what's yeah. home for you? Like, where would you well, go I, to London or? Uh, no, I, I grew up in a town called Bedford in England. So, not like one of the big cities over not there? Not a big city, a town, but a scrappy town. A you, scrappy little you, town? You back it into a corner and I'll chew your face off. <laughs> well, I, I didn't know that about you. That's, that's interesting because we, uh, we love uh, smaller towns here. You do? On the, oh, we love them, absolutely. Well, even British towns. I mean, sure, because you're here. Sure, why not? <laughs> Okay. We occasionally, we like to do this thing uh, called Community Calendar on the show, where we celebrate smaller towns and the cultural events they have to offer. Here's the thing, and this is an impossible request. Yes. I mean, I would love it, Hail Mary point here, if, if, if you could do one of those on my town, Bedford. But forget it. I, it's a crazy There's request. There's absolutely no way we could have prepared for that request. It's impossible. John Oliver. It can't be done. It cannot be should done. Should we do it? I it don't can't know. be done. It can't be done. It can't I guess be so. done. Do we have anything? Let, let's try to do it. All right, let's try to do it. It's time for Bedford's community calendar. <laughs> Welcome to Community Calendar, your source for what's happening in and around Bedford, the county town of Bedfordshire, and the greater region of, I'm going to say, Bedfordington. <laughs> Joining me is local boy John Oliver. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Or, uh, or as we say in, in Bedford, thank you, Stephen. Thanks a lot, mate. That was nice. <laughs> Real nice. All right, let's uh, get right to the actual events that are happening this month in Bedford. On February 25th, the Shuttleworth Aviation Museum will host a talk on flying their aircraft collection. It's perfect for anyone who's ever wondered, what if the airline announcement went on for a whole hour? <laughs> On Thursday the 16th, the Forest Centre will host Badgers in a Box. <laughs> a craft session for kids to create a badger's home in a shoebox. <laughs> Just imagine your parents' surprise when they find out they've lost a pair of shoes, but they've gained an angry badger. <laughs> On Monday, February 20th, at Millennium Country Park, prepare for spooky stories at Ghost Witches and Medieval Mayhem. You know you're in for a fright because it happens at the most terrifying time of all, 11 a.m. on a Monday. <laughs> yes. The weekday witching hour. <laughs> now, for an intellectual outing, February 12th at 12.30, there will be a professional speaker showcase at Bedford's premier performance venue, The Place. <laughs> so, don't forget to be at The Place at the time for The Thing. On Monday, February 20th, the Bedford Corn Exchange is hosting its Circus of Horrors. <laughs> this year's theme is the never-ending nightmare. <laughs> It'll leave you with terrifying questions like, why do people in Bedford keep doing Halloween stuff in February? <laughs> it, it's a legitimate question with no good answer. On February 15th, Ready, Steady, Roll hosts a board game night at the Bedford Park Pavilion. Relax and, and, and ease your mind of the, of the state of the world with fun games like Terror in Meeple City, <laughs> Survive, Escape from Atlantis, and, of course, Pandemic. <laughs> so bring the kids and teach them the vital lesson that survival is just a roll of the dice. All month long, bring the kids down to the Woodside Animal Farm for chicken bunny cuddling, an indoor play barn, outdoor play areas, crazy golf, fun fair rides, trampolines, and a sand pit. <laughs> Pretty much everything you need to give your child a completely inaccurate view of the brutal realities behind modern agricultural industry. Now, on the 25th of February, the Flittick Cricket Club will hold a seminar about their playing grounds. You won't want to miss it, because in cricket, lawn maintenance is genuinely the most exciting part of the game. <laughs> the event will have presentations from local seed and fertilizer suppliers, so stop on down for a literal bull <laughs> session. Mm. 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 
Then on February 22nd, head to Rogan's Books for a class on upcycled book crafts. Learn how to turn your old books into fun craft projects such as decoupage, origami, paper flowers, and the art of book folding. <laughs> or, as is more commonly known, closing a book. It's an art if you do it well. Now, Sunday, February 26th, Bedford Cemetery will host a presentation on World War I called The Great War Through the Magic Lantern. Because in England, it seems everything must sound like a <laughs> Harry Potter title. <laughs> Well, that does it for the Bedford Community Calendar. If you'd like any more information about any of these events, John Oliver will gladly do a 30-minute deep dive on each one of them. And with a <laughs> ton of cursing. <laughs> the new season of Last Week Tonight with this guy begins Sunday on HBO. John Oliver, everybody. We'll be right back with Isabel. <laughs> yeah.